With the addition of the summer update part 2, there is a new method to get sand dollars. That is fast and you can get 999 sand dollars per hour. It is that strong, I'm not even joking. I tested this earlier and streamed, actually there's a stream uh, in my live section. And I tested how long it would take to farm these sand dollars with the new method that I got added. And this method does not include battling. Battling was the previous best method. But now it is the new pizza quest. I'll just go straight into it. The best method is a pizza making quest. So for this method, you want to have buried treasure in one of your slots. Buried treasure takes two seconds to load up, so it's actually really bad. And buried treasure is RNG based, so it's not ideal either. And for this first slot over here, you want it to have a package delivery quest, or a pizza delivery quest, or a infestation quest. Just one of those in that slot, and a buried treasure in this slot. And that's all you need for the setup. I'll just run through the method now. All you gotta do is click the board a bunch of times until you find the pizza making quest. You can find it in uncommon and you can find it in rare as well. So just keep staring at the board until you find it. It's not very hard to find either. I find it pretty quickly. And you want to make sure the board's lined up with the right side of your screen. So you can click a yes on the board really quickly in a row. And there it is, making pizza. Okay. The uncommon one actually gives you $12. Even though it says $8, it actually gives you $12 if you get it right. And the rare quests give you $20, but they actually give you $24 once you get the quest right. So basically it's $12 and $24 as the currency you can get. The big game is pretty straightforward, all you need is a decent memory. It's not too hard honestly, you can take a screenshot if you want, but I just try and remember it as best as you can. Even if you get it wrong, you still get a lot of sand dollars, you still get 8 for uncommon if you get it wrong, and you get 20 for rare if you get it wrong. But what you're going to do is do what the customer asks. This customer says I'm not a huge fan of pizza sauce, although I do want cheese, so you got to keep in mind when you make your pizza. Usually they just ask for cheese and sauce, but on the rare occasions they do say one or neither. And the second dialogue you want to keep an eye on is the toppings. The toppings are the main part of it. They can range from 2 to 7 I've found. And there are like 8 toppings in total. So there can be 2 to 7 toppings in the dialogue. You usually get around 4 or 5 toppings. For this one we've got 3 being onion, parsley and pineapple. Here are all the ingredients. We've got to click onion, we've got to click parsley, and we've got to choose pineapple as well. And it'll give him only cheese. And that's a very quick rundown of the quest. That's literally all the quest is finished pizza and that is it. You just gotta spam through the dialogue and it says you made a flawless pizza, that means you get a tip. If you make a mistake, it will say you made a mistake and you'll get the normal eight sand dollars. And there it is, my tip, and I've got a lot of sand dollars now, that's 12 already. I'll try to do a quick speed run for you guys right now actually. I'm just gonna spam the quest board until I get the pizza making quest. And there it is, I've got the making quest already. Let's just go straight back in, through here, talk to this man and do it again. And that's literally the whole method, you just gotta keep repeating this one quest over and over again, and that's the quickest method. No cheese and only sauce, it says. He wants pepperoni and sausage, easy. Pepperoni, sausage, no cheese, only sauce, and that is it. Just like that, I'm out of here, all done. Easy 12, now I've got 400 sand dollars. So yeah, I did do a live stream testing all this. The battles aren't as good. I found each battle taking around 100 seconds per battle. Because for the battles, you have to actually go to one of the houses, then battle like four to five doodles that you most likely will two shot. And it's not very efficient. I did test this a bunch of times as well. And most of the time you would get 12 sand dollars. So if I do a quick calculation, each pizza making quest takes around 42.4 seconds with my testing, which rounds down to 42 seconds. So if we're going at max speed on the tasks and we do get 42 seconds per quest, and most likely you'll get 12 tokens. We can do a quick calculation and do 3,600 seconds, because that's how many seconds are in one hour. Divide this by 42 seconds, which gives us 85.7 something, meaning you'll get 85 to 86 quests done per hour. And you times this by 12, and that gives us 1,000 sand dollars, pretty much. Probably more than that, because you can get a chance of getting 24. So this method literally gives you 999 sand dollars per hour. And there's no RNG to it either, it's mainly just using your memory to practice kind of does make perfect, but it's very minuscule. You don't have to be good for this mini game. you don't need any doodles for battling, you just need to do the pizza making quest over and over again, and it's easy for everyone. So yeah, that's literally the best method of how to get sand dollars. I've got four spins to do, so I'm gonna go use the new roulette wheel. Talk to this guy over here for the roulette by the way. Go to the better odds section because that's where you get misprints and stuff like that. So we're going to do four spins right now. I also did test battling and it gave me uh, 720 sand dollars per hour. So significantly less than pizza making. We got Calamander, nothing special about this, but that's a new skin for me. We've got three more spins, let's see what I get now. I got a Tinted Wisp, that looks cool. Six star as well, not bad. And it's Hidden Trade, that's actually a PvP. That's cool. My third spin, I get a Scoplet, just a regular Scoplet. And my final spin, let's see what I get with all my hard-earned sand dollars, which took me 
hardly any time at all. I got a hidden trait, grid blows, summer skin. It only took me about 20 to 25 minutes to farm those 400 sand dollars. And also I did test every other quest as well as uh, doing pizza making while doing epic battling. And epic battling is still not worth it. It's still worth it to do pizza making only. And that is the best method. I've tested it all. Don't worry. I even tested the buried treasure thing. It is the best method if the sand like spawns here every single time. But like, you can actually get the sand dollars like out here around there. And sand dollars can also spawn on this area here. So it is really not worth it. It's RNG based and it is not good in the long run. But I don't recommend doing buried treasure either. As for the delivery quests, they give you hardly anything at all. And it takes quite a bit of time. So don't do any delivery quests. Pizza making is the way. And for those talking about the maze being the best quest, you are a funny individual. If you do the maze quest for an hour, I'd say you get like a hundred sand dollars per hour. It is horrible. I am yet to beat it once, honestly, and it just sucks. Subscribe for more pro tips and do the worlds, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.